Hey guys, um, I'm here to show you how I um, made my realistic um, chain link fences um, uh, in a cheap, cheap way. Um, I saved about $35 doing it this way for my scrapyard. Um, even though I will be buying the BM BMLA um, chain link fences for my intermodal yard over here from where my scrap uh, yard is, I um, did not. I I thought that. Scrap yards wouldn't have as good looking fences and as in a rotor yard. So, I mean, this is just basically um, what I made right here. And um, looks very realistic, especially for a scrap yard. Um, but for supplies to build these um, chain link fences, you are going to need a uh, stapler. A let's see here a knife. Um, I'm using this just a tight knife. You can also use a pair of scissors. Um, you can use toothpicks. Even though um, the reason I did not use toothpicks, even though I liked the way they looked, um, was because they broke too easy. These are the um, flat toothpicks. They look pretty good if you just don't break them. Um, and then what I was what I've been using are um, some. Let's see here, where are they? nails. Um, they look about scale size. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a Dremel to cut off the head to where they turn out just like those. Let's see here. You can see it down at ground level. Like that. So that's how you want to make it look. Um, you're going to use a Dremel um, or another power tool to take the head off um, because it doesn't look very realistic. But anyways, um, and then the most important piece, this is um, some netting, uh, small square netting. Um, I got this for free, and I'm sure you could find it in a hardware store or um, maybe even a hobby store. Um, I know my dad, I, I remember they used to, uh, for his layout, they used to use this um, to build up the mountains, and then they put plaster of Paris over them. Um, so this is what I'll be using. And I already have a piece uh, cut out, but you want to make sure it's scale size. And uh, this is a little bit too tall. This is too tall, so um, I'm gonna get cutting. All right, so I'm here with my uh, dark gray netting. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit um, to where it looks to more of a realistic size. You're gonna want to make sure that these, um, when you cut it, it's just about as straight as it can be. Looks more realistic. Hmm. Let's see there. All right, that looks like a pretty good size. Yeah, that's just about. This is a little bit smaller than what I was using on my scrapyard, but it'll be fine because uh, fence heights vary. Um. But when you measure what, how long you want the uh, netting piece to be, you want to make sure to leave extra room for the end have a little bit of extra room that way you can overlap it um, I would be usually by now my like I said the nail tips right there would be um, cut off but um, the this one is not but I'm just going to show you basically how I put it on the pole but I really suggest that you cut this off this piece here, here off and it'll look a lot more realistic so now you have your sta stapler standing by you're going to get it and you're gonna bring it about as close to the nail as possible like that and you're gonna insert a staple once you see it's about even get in there and staple so got one end and then I'm gonna come in here at the top and do it again make sure it looks just about you wanna get it to as close to the nail as possible that way um, you cannot see it and then I'm going to do it again on the other side, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back, and I've got both ends stapled in. And then what you're going to do, um, since due to the length of this, I'm only going to put one more nail about right there. And um, we'll be right back um, to the inserting part. But basically, the reason, another reason you want to use nails is because, uh, especially when you're using foam, um, you can easily uh, insert them into foam or you can easily nail them into wood and um, so that's another great reason 
And when you're trying to use toothpicks, um, what happens is they usually break when you're trying to insert them. So, basically, um, what I do, it usually typically be longer, but I'd have one uh, maybe on this side, and then I would have another one on the other side, and then you would pull it tight. That way they'd hold straight together, so well, I'll be right back and we'll show you how you insert it. Alright, this is not permanent, but I'm just going to show you how you insert them. Basically, all you're going to do is just put the nails, uh, I have foam on my layout, so you're just going to lay the nails in there. This is not where, this is not permanent, like I said. And, um, so, and then you're going to get your other nails, uh, that should have their tip off. And you're just going to insert it. I usually like to insert them first. See, and then you'll have one there on that side. And then maybe one on the other side like this. Very easy to insert, especially into foam. And basically, you have a ch chain link fence right there. All you need to do is just cut off the heads, and it looks just like um, something like this. Let's see. Very cool. Save you a lot of money. Um, looks, They look pretty uh, good. Another thing you can do um, on a few sides, what you can do is when you come to the nail, you can insert like two staples there that to keep the nail in spot. Um, I did that in a few spots, especially when um, the strip is very long. It helps uh, support it, so and it kind of looks realistic um, in a way. So this is over here by my main line. So hope you guys make sure you tell me what you think, um, how I did, and uh, I'll just give you another view of the scrapyard chain link fence real quick. Right there I got my gates for the road and the track coming into the yard. So um, anyways guys I hope you like this and uh, thanks for watching.